course of the last two lessons, we placed effects in clips. Now we're going to learn how to add transitions or effects added between clips. Transitions help ease the flow of the video from clip to clip by making it smoother. However, the best thing about clips is that they're extremely easy to add. In this lesson, we're going to learn about transitions, how and when to add transitions, how to set a default transition, how to add a video transition, about deleting, replacing, and changing the duration of a transition, how to customize transitions, how to add the default transition to multiple clips, how to add a fade in to the beginning of a video, how to add a fade out to the end of a video, and how to add audio transitions. Note, transition should be added after your project is nearly complete. The reason for this is that they affect trimming and motion related effects. You'll find transitions in the effects panel. There are transitions for both audio and video. You can click on the triangle to the left of the video or audio transitions to see the available transitions. Before we work more with transitions, there are a few things you need to know. A cut is a transition without a transition effect and occurs when two clips touch each other on the timeline. Whenever you apply a transition effect, Premiere Pro uses frames from the two clips to create it. Transitions should be used for major scene changes, do not overuse them, and the mood of the project should be taken into account when adding a transition. Use a transition that matches the mood. To set the default audio or video transition, go to the Effects panel. Click on the transition that you want to make the default transition. Right-click on the transition and select Set Selected as Default Transition. To add a transition, drag a transition from the Effects panel and drop it at the intersection between two clips. You can see the transition between the two clips. If alignment positions are available, choose the one you want. However, Center At Cut usually works best. Note, you can view alignment positions by selecting the transition, then going to the Effect Controls panel. The default duration for a transition is one second. If you need to change this, go to Edit, Preferences, General on a PC, and Premiere Pro, Preferences, General on a Mac. To delete a transition, click on the transition and either press Backspace or right-click, and then choose Clear. To replace one transition with another, drag a transition from the Effects panel and place it on the transition you want to replace. Premiere Pro replaces it for you. To change how long a clip lasts between two clips, right-click on the transition in the timeline. Choose Set Transition Duration. You'll then see the Set Transition Duration dialog box. Enter the duration you want and then click OK. Transitions can be customized in much the same way as we customized effects. To customize a transition, select it in the timeline. Next, go to the Effect Controls panel. Make sure you can see the timeline in the Effect Controls panel. Click the Play button in the Effect Controls panel to see a preview of your transition. If you want to see your content instead of A, B slates, click Show Actual Sources. You can also click the Duration field to change the transition duration. Click the Alignment field to change the alignment. To add the default transition to multiple clips, first select the clips in the timeline. We're going to draw a marquee around the clips we want to select. To draw a marquee, click in a blank area of the video area in the timeline. Press down the left mouse button and drag. Next, go to Sequences, Apply Default Transitions to Selection. When you do this, Premiere Pro inserts the default transitions. This includes fade-ins and fade-outs. To create a fade-in so your clip fades in from black, go to the Effects panel. Drag the cross-dissolve transition to the start of the video in the timeline. To create a fade out so that the last clip in your video fades out to black, go to the Effects panel, drag the cross dissolve transition to the end of the video this time. Let's look at the audio transitions available in the Effects panel. 
Note, with both video and audio transitions, the transition highlighted with a yellow border is the default transition. There are three audio transitions available in the effects panel, constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. Audio transitions are a lot like video transitions in that you add them the same way, you can change the duration, and you can edit them. That said, this section of the lesson should be easy for you since we just covered video transitions. To add an audio transition, drag an audio transition from the effects panel to the intersection of two audio clips. Again, as with video transitions, it's best to choose center at cut alignment if possible. You can see the audio transition between the two audio clips. 